Look at this Scotty Young cover. That's amazing. I have them all Scotty Young covers on my wall now. These are special to me. I like the covers. Yeah. I don't know if you ever used to read the mini Marvels. I used to do mini Marvels in the back of the books, like one strip, and then they came up with these mini Marvel comics. <laughs> And they were hilarious. They were just stupid, and they were all just little mini like kid Marvel guys. You had you had a Green Hulk, a Purple Hulk, a, a, a Red Hulk, an Orange Hulk. They were all fighting amongst each other. They, they were like brothers and shit. And they were all just these little funny, stupid strips. And that they remind me of the mini of the mini Marvels. I'm not gonna do uh, Miss Marvel. Okay. I can't stand it. Yeah, it's crap. I don't like it either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for this Doctor Doom. Have you Me read too, it? Me too, I haven't read it yet. No, it's actually the next on my list to read. See, I'm not sure if you're ever serious now. I just I just don't know. At this well, that's point. even better. That's even better because now I can say anything. You don't know. You don't exactly. know. Exactly. I enjoy Doctor Doom, so I'm hoping that's um, hoping that's good. Hulk Green. Yeah, what about him? Do you have him? I don't have them all. I, got a, I, I may have a couple of them, though. Let me see what I have for Hulk Green. So. Or how about um, Totally Awesome Hulk, number 21? Nope. First appearance of Weapon H. Yep. This is what I have for Hulk, Hulk Marines. I don't have number ones, though. That's fine. Right. I just started uh, Weapon H. It's, it's actually really good. Did you read it? Yes. Yep. Did you like it? Yep, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I didn't really care for the Hulk Marines that much, but I like the Weapon I like Weapon H. I thought, I thought that was good. I like Weapon H, the totally awesome Hulk. Yep. Um, what, it across through Weapon X, I think, at that time, when they did the whole Weapon H storyline yeah. or whatever. I like that, too. Yeah, I thought Weapon H was decent. I haven't. I never finished Hulk Vereens. I, I just didn't care. Well, that makes it bad, then. If no, 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 no. There's some stuff that's bad. There's some stuff that says, this is okay, but I've got a stack of books like this to read. I don't care enough to ha to, to take that. There's other stuff I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather read. If a book can't keep me going to like the next issue, that's just bad. Uh, if I didn't have a million things to read, I probably would have finished it. I mean, I like the fact that the leader was in the the leader was in the book and, and whatnot, but he's a villain of the Hulk. So what's his name? Um, yeah. The leader. Oh, is that his actual? Well, that's his name. I forget what his real name was. If you talk to anyone who says, oh, the leader's in the book, everyone knows it's the guy with the big green head. If you say what his real name is, 90% of the people won't know who it is. And I forget, I even forget it. It's so meaningless that what his real name is now because everyone knows him as the leader he's been th he's been thwarting the hulk forever really thwarting <laughs> thwarting <laughs> good, good old 1960s nice. marvel book <laughs> <laughs> dr doom number one batman's grave and the villains villains is 4.99 and sinister house of secrets is 10. i'm not buying that 4.99 absolutely ten dollars no thanks I keep looking at Contagion. I don't know if I want to spend $16 on a four party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only quite whiny about these things. I don't want to spend extra money. So many comics to choose from, and so few that I, that I end up picking up. I want them all, but. Oh, good, good. Finances dictate otherwise. I'm still really enjoying Doomsday Watch, or Doomsday Clock, which I didn't think I would. One or two to go, and I'm waiting for it as patiently as I can. Normally I'll pick up a, uh, a couple of Superman or Batmans, uh, but my, by, mar by far my favorite right now is still the Immortal Hulk. It's dark and it's beautifully done, and I have yet to run across a single issue of that that was a downer. Okay. Bye. I don't think there's a regular series I pick up anymore. Nothing, nothing other than the Immortal Hulk is really jumping out at me. The Fantastic Four has been solid. I like when they when they do the Fantastic Four right, which is to remember that they're not just superheroes; they're also explorers. So having them go off to other places and, and examine other other worlds is great. When they do that right, it makes me very happy. I'm not sure about the Gotham City villains, or the monsters rather. Decent artwork. I'm very tempted to pick this one up just because it's by John Carpenter. He's one of my favorite directors. The man knows what the hell he's doing. Once again, I've got the oversize. I looked the, at the at the artwork inside, and I'm just not interested in spending the extra money for the Joker Harley oversize. Half the artwork looks like it's, like it's bad photographs. Yesterday I got fitted for a mask that will go over my face for the next six weeks. Five days a week I'll be getting radiation treatments along with chemotherapy once a week. So far it looks like I'm doing well, but this is going to be the definitive answer as to whether or not um, they've, they've eliminated the cancer completely. If this goes well, I don't need surgery. If it doesn't go well, they'll cut the tonsil out of my neck. Make sure that all of the infection is gone, all of the cancer is gone. It's kind of an interesting twist public service announcement for everybody is my family doesn't really have a history of cancer. You know, 
But I have human papilloma virus, HPV, and that is what caused my cancer. And I would recommend very, very heartily that anybody get inoculated against that between the ages of 10 and 50 in the hopes of avoiding cancer. Batman still has the best run of rogues gallery characters with the possible exception of Spider-Man. I'm a big fan of Flash Rogues Gallery, though. Ever since Jeff Johns took them over with, um, with Jeff Johns actually made those guys meaningful. Flash's Rogues Gallery were, were just goofy as hell. But when Jeff Johns had, had come in, I mean, I think he made, you know, Captain Cold was, was an amazing character. I mean, Trickster was better than just being an oh, yeah. idiot doing tricks and boomerang, you know. Mr. Freeze from Batman's Rogues Gallery. Until he, he animated the series, nobody cared. Right. He was a guy with a freeze gun. When they gave him a backstory that made it interesting and tragic, suddenly he was an interesting character. Mm -hmm. As I understand it, Patrick Stewart was lined up to do it when Schwarzenegger said, "Hey, I'll do that." Honestly, that movie was so bad. Oh my god! I don't god. think I don't think it. It didn't matter who played Mr. Freeze; it was not going to be good. No. I mean, it was just it was just a bad movie. Out of those four movies, the only one I liked was the one with um, the Riddler and the the Riddler. Batman and, Forever. Is that what it was? Batman yeah, Forever Riddler and Two Face in that. Yeah, one? yeah. The other three couldn't stand. Including the Tim Bergen ones, I thought those were great. Yes, you know, I, I, I think the worst, probably the worst, um, well, I can't say it's the worst comic book movie ever because we did have Catwoman and Elektra. Um, wow, yeah, those but, both sucked. But wind. next to the, some one of the worst comic book movies I've ever seen is the Penguin one. Uh, it was. It's, oh no, it, I agree. That one was yeah. kind of. Yeah, that was that was that'd yeah. be the worst. That'd be one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I think he tried too hard to do too much with that movie, which is exactly what they did with the Spider-Man movie number three. Mm -hmm. Let's put three villains in there. No, let's try one. Yeah. Give me one story. Yep. How was your chops for your fail, Glenn? Um, it was all right. Yeah. A little disappointed this year. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe does not like the camera, it looks like. <laughs> Tell him, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Put, uh, I think the image is brilliant, by the way. Whenever they do a first yeah. issue, first trade, oh, it's 10 bucks. Yeah. Yes. It's a good way to hook me. Some of the image books, which I think is great, um, not all of them, but uh, some of them, they'll put the first, they'll put the first trade for $10. Say, here, try smart. this. You may like it. Um, I'm certainly willing to spend $10 faster than when you spend 20. Right, right. And then you like it, then okay, now you know the next one's gonna be the $17 or whatever. Exactly. Yep, so uh, nine bucks. It's funny, because for me, Jeff Lemire is a is a hit or miss yeah, guy. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. the exact same thing, yeah. actually. I, either, I like some of his stuff, and I hate a lot of his stuff. This is one of the books that I really, I really enjoy. I wish the artwork's a little better. I'm not a big fan of the art guy, but it's not bad. It, it, well, it, fits the, also, it fits, it fits the, the story. Yep, yeah. yep, it fits the story. Yeah. Some of the artwork that, that they do for the horror comics is brilliant, and some of it's like, eh. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff fits fits what fits what you're you're going with. I mean, I don't think that guy in Gideon Falls should be on a mainstream <coughs> should be on a mainstream fit. book. Yeah, I'm right. Looking inside, I'm like, yeah, that works for horror. Yep. You know, someone like Marvel will try to put them on one of their books, and you'll be going, what what is this? Uh, uh, another uh, failure by Marvel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got From ice cream man. Else. Doctor um, Doom. When I moved, when I moved, put that aside for last week. Redneck. Spider Man. This isn't for me. This is for my buddy. Now, guess what? This, this Absolute now, carnage and contagion. Exactly. Probably read Redneck first, and then exactly. I'll figure out if I still like this book. Here, probably right, today. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Did you read it, Ice Cream Man? This this week's Ice Cream yeah. Man. Yeah. Was it good? It was. Did it redeem itself finally? A well, bit? I mean, I thought last issue redeemed itself. Yeah. This issue was. Not as good as last show, but a lot better than the crap that was coming up before good. that. It's still on the to read list on me because right. it was it was it was getting close to be the fired list. Yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those. I wouldn't mind. I don't know. There's a few Spider-Man books I'm looking for. I wouldn't mind picking this up right now, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to spend 25 bucks. Maybe I can talk Glenn into throwing it in my uh, my pull box. And then I can get it later this weekend. <clears throat> I don't know. I always look at the wall and these books I see. And... I don't know. There you go. Just a Thank money fit. That's all it is. See you later. Constant money you fit. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Probably just 
Probably, I don't know, one of my kids. I don't know. You know, three's too many. Do you want a kid? I'll give you one of my kids for Amazing Fantasy 15. That's, why would I, why would I take a child for that? Because it's the <laughs> gift that keeps giving. <laughs> no, it you know, keeps keep giving misery. That's, yeah, you well, know, that's what it is. <laughs> tried. Yeah, give one of your kids. You should give me money and a kid just to take a kid. All right, it's. Uh, I'll give you fifteen bucks so you can take him to McDonald's <laughs> and the, and the kid. <laughs> yeah, I think my issue is is I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm gonna s save up for I don't know a certain key, and then it's like along the way I see like oh that she Hulk like oh yeah I'll spend twenty five bucks on that, and then like if I I, I really want a giant size X Men, one. Oh, I just sold one. No, you didn't. Did you? Yeah, uh, three weeks ago to uh, the Dig Dug. Well. Yeah. Phil knows I'm not lying about that. Do you have an X Men 94? I don't. What no. about a 101? If I did, it'd probably be on the wall. It'd be on the wall. No, it's not on the yeah. wall. Yeah, no, I actually, uh, like three weeks ago, I sold a giant size X Men 1 for a 450. It was a low. It was a low grade. It was a low grade one. Yeah. It never hit the wall, so you know, you, it's not like you missed it. It just. Um, well, I'm just gonna have to start throwing comic books out at you that I, I think I might walk, but want before you put it on the wall. Sometimes you need to do that. It yeah. just so happened that I was pricing it when that guy came in. Uh, but I was pricing. He goes, "Hey, holy shit, I want this." He, he, and I didn't have anyone that's. I didn't have anyone says, "Hey, I, I definitely want this. I definitely want that." And, yeah. uh, and you know, he's he's one of the regulars, so I says, yeah. "It's yours. Here you go." You know, it's. Oh, darn. First Amazing Fantasy 15 is. A guy ended up selling it to it. To it. It's, a, it's only a point five. Yeah. It was connected with tape to the to the cover to the book. It had tears in it. It had tape going across it. It looked like that someone just took it, crumbled it up, yep. sat on it, slept yep. on it. Yep. Every time you grabbed it, another little piece would just fall off the, yep. would, would, would just break off the bottom. It was really awful to look at to the eyes, but the inside pages weren't bad. You know, right. it's uh, the cover front and back was disgusting. I mean, as you touch it, I think I'm, thinking I'm catching a disease off it yeah i mean yeah. so i didn't mind buying uh you know something that was that shitty because right. at that point it was like this is all i'm ever going to probably be able to afford uh yeah. this is yeah. I'll, I'll take it i end up getting another one a better one yeah and uh one of my one of my buddies um here has been coming in since, he actually has been coming in since the day i opened the store yep he goes, oh man i want your second amazing fantasy 15 i do that you're my friend i don't want to sell this to you and he ended up buying it off me for 650 bucks and I said, look, I want you to look at it first because, I mean, I again, I, I want to still be friends after this is done. <laughs> and he looked at it, he goes, I don't think I'll be able to afford another one like this. At least I have one. Yeah. And he bought it. Yeah. And then he had it for a while. And then he goes, yeah, because every time I want to look at it, another piece of fall. So he eventually just went to get it graded just so yeah. just so he wouldn't be tempted to take it out of the, right. take it out again anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was a 0.5. Worst rating you can get. Yeah. But he has it. it. I mean, he has it. He can't look at it. I looked at it several times. Every yeah. time I looked at it, another piece fell off. But yeah. I mean, it couldn't get any worse. I'd like a Hulk 180. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. and because Wolverine's in it. Right, right. Also because I, I do collect Hulk. Do you have a Hulk 181? No. 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 No, but I also know that that's not so far out of my price range. Yeah, yeah. That I'm not. Right, right. I mean, at I least can you look, look at it, I can touch it, right. I can flip it, even if, even without the stamp. If I could ever find someone to make payments towards, yeah, yeah. maybe I could do that, but it'd probably be like, yeah, it's gonna take me six months to pay off. Yeah. You know, but I mean. I mean, I do payment plans for stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I. It, yeah. I mean, it depends how much it is, you know? I yeah. mean, no, I, I always do payment. I'll do yeah. payment plans. Oh, I mean, I, I'd be interested in no 181. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie. But right. It would. But yeah, but hey, 180, at least you have a cameo with. You have a cameo of the. Of well, Ring, you know? that, that's the thing. It's. it's And that giant size X Men 1, I mean. It's what his third appearance or fourth? I, I don't. Even, they, they argue over what his first appearance yeah. is, but I mean, everyone says it's one eighty one, but I don't know how a cameo can't be your first appearance if you've never appeared in another book. A cameo can't be your first appearance if you say something and it's a full panel. Right. I mean, it's a full panel. Right. It's not like you were on a you were in a block in a background or right. something. Right. 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 I just. No, I never. I never a, understood like that either. It's the same either. thing with Gambit, though. They did that with Gambit. Gambit's first appearance is in like annual x-men annual 10 well, i don't know what one, one, one of the right, right. six but I, you but you everyone will say it's 264 14 i don't know yeah. what number it is but everyone will, will tell you it's 266, it's 266. Right. and i don't know if it's just because like oh i like that cover better that everyone's like yeah that's gonna be it i just i mean i guess 
what people decide on and yeah. what CGC ends up printing on the Well, that was even, even before CGC was around. Yeah, that was the first uh, the I first just, appearance. I mean, of course, that's what drives the market is, you know, big key books like that. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to start with a 180 maybe or a 181. You want me to go get my 180 from upstairs right now then? Do you have one? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's this group on Facebook. It's like the 181 Club. And it's like people will start taking pictures and they'll have like a 3.5, a 4.0, a 4.5, like all the way up to 9.8. Why do you have this many copies of this right. book? Like, I like it too. Right. Why do you need that many of anything? You, you, don't, you don't need that many. And, and it's I mean, not like you're going to read them because you've, you slabbed them. Unless you're, yeah, unless you're planning on retiring off of that, which uh. I mean. Still gonna have to wait a little bit because yeah, a two point a two point oh isn't gonna get you isn't, isn't gonna get you get you know, I try to save money up for a key and it just doesn't work out. Well, you gotta keep that money saved up so when you do come across the key, you can pull the trigger yeah. and not go, man, I saved up this money for a key. Then I decide to spend it on this, and then the key shows up. It's like now I can't afford my yeah. can't afford my. Key. You need That's to just it. save that aside for you for for the I key know. that you want. I know. I'm gonna start hooking at night, yeah. bringing in my money. Give yeah. you laundered dirty. Oh, money. you know some of this. They're, they're, you know, down at the end of Primrose Street here, they don't have any. Uh, they don't have any male prostitutes down there. So maybe you, have, you, oh, you can probably head down. I mean, I can be close yeah. to here. I yeah, can right, just right. drop my money off. Yeah, you know, yeah, prostitute heaven yeah. is right down in the. Yeah. Is you know is is a is a couple miles down hey, the road. You know, you it's got it. you go down there. You, you you turn a few tricks. You come back in here. You just you just throw the money. You throw the money just, down. Just throwing wads of cash yeah. down. Yeah, I don't think there's many male prostitutes here in Hayroll. So no. I think you could. Uh, yeah. I think you can I, actually do something. Yeah? You could corner the market on that. I could. <laughs> I could. Which one are you going to read first? Um, probably the Gwenpool because I'm enjoying that storyline just because I like the character and I want more out of her. Unfortunately, I got into the character just as the original series was canceled. So I have like the last five or six issues. Yeah, so I'm just enjoying the character coming back. Second would be the Web of Black Widow because... Uh, I don't know, I just find this an interesting story. I really like the previous title, the Activist Black Widow, where she was in Madripoor. And this, I'm just, I'm just gonna read until the story's done, because I'm just, I'm bored of it. This, I'm just, I'm picking up because I heard great things about it. So I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. And Spawn, of course, like, how can you not? It's Spawn. 301? Yeah. As far as I can remember, the first comics I ever read were the Max and Spawn from my uncle. He was just like, hey, Bill, you want these? Like, am I allowed to read this stuff? I don't know. They're comics. Okay. I was like maybe four or five years old. And just the art has had a lasting impact on me. There's Greg Capullo. There's Jason Son Alexander. There's uh, Todd McFarlane. Uh, I think it's basically the same team from 300. But uh, basically, like, the first 20, 25 issues were McFarlane at his best. I don't know, it's, it's very attractive. Like, it has both a dated and timeless feel to it. Like, this looks like it could easily come from 1994. But he made this probably, like, a year ago. So there's that, like, timeless quality to his work. Where other artists, like, they age and they don't have as much energy and they put in less effort and it looks bad like JRJR. JR. you get artists like that and then you get people like todd mcfarlane who's been doing it for like 20 30 years still draws exactly the same just better todd mcfarlane along with you know like jim lee rob liefeld and the other image guys like they broke the mold for what would become like an industry standard for the better part of like six seven years like the 90s excess was all them rob liefeld his style has progressed it's become more angular and streamlined but it's it's still a, it's a different style now where before it was all bubbly and like exaggerated now it's more realistic and streamlined and todd he just i don't know how to describe it. he's just gotten better jim lee honestly i can't stand looking at jim lee anymore because it looks exactly the same as what he drew back in 1989 which is good like it's good looking art but it hasn't progressed Honestly, I think he's more like a figurehead than anything. People respect him as they should, but it's just like that pedigree does him a disservice because it's just like, oh, hey, it's Jim Lee, the really good artist. He has rightfully earned that title as a really good artist, but it's just like, it's like he's resting on his laurels like, like, oh, I'm good. I don't need to be better. 
So you're saying he's just on autopilot? Yeah. I look at a lot of artists like Andy Kubert, uh, uh, Joe Simon, uh, Todd McFarlane, uh, J. Scott Campbell, um, Umberto Ramos, like a bunch of like artists with like unique striking styles are what I want in uh, my style. These are the artists. There are the amateurs who aren't ready for prime time. There are those who trace too much 3D, and then there are those who get lost in the mix. I can't trash on Jim Lee. Um, I like Jim Lee's stuff. I just wish, I just wish he could put. It wasn't, you know, just hey, I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna do this book, and it's never on time, and it's just, uh, I mean, but if you can't get a book out on time, I don't want to see him on the book. What name am I picking up? Ms. Marvel, Spider, well, the little kid Spider Man, yeah, Wonder Woman, Catwoman. Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn and Supergirl. It's been good. Some of them have ended and some new ones have started. Um, so I've enjoyed that. And yeah, I really like the Harley Quinn series a lot. Um, more than I thought I would. I didn't know anything about her and I think she's really funny. So I'm excited uh, to read more of that. I got the book. The they had like a book book. <laughs> that they came out and I'm in the middle of that and I really like it uh, so it's been good you know no one's asked me about the Joker movie I guess no one I knew wanted to see the Joker movie I don't like violent things like the second Batman after Batman begins the second one the Dark Knight I like almost had to leave the theater when that came out I can't take the violence which is probably why I read the funny comics more than the violent comics I think it's because I work in the news and I read a lot about real violence, so I have no tolerance for it in my entertainment. I did see Logan, yes. And I mean, I appreciate the storytelling and the plot and the acting and all the things, but I just can't. I have to close my eyes a lot. So it's just not worth seeing it in the theater for me. When you hear about the things in real life, it's hard to see them. I'm not good with the violence on screen. The real life violence, like stuff that's crazy, you know spaceships and stuff whatever but it's the ones that are like gritty and real i don't do well with those i did a big read of all my back comics last week so i'm ready for these that's why i came on wednesday sometimes i wait a few days if i haven't read all last week's yet the last week only had one i usually read the page and then i go back and look at the pictures after i've read the whole page oh yeah because i you... still forget to look at the pictures but i'm getting better sometimes i remember to look at the pictures as i'm reading but not always and i like how fast they go too so I can get through a lot of them. It doesn't take me a month to read the, you know, the whole book. What that idiot, what that idiot clown that is, uh, that's making a comment like, why don't she read good stuff? Well, for you, that's good stuff. For him, it's not, you know, it's exactly. not. Right, I mean, some of the stuff that I read, people hate. And people get all over me because I don't like some of the books that they, that mm -hmm. they like. Who cares? <laughs> you yeah. know, it's. Like I love sci-fi and fantasy stuff. And no one else I know likes it. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. Sometimes they'll ask me about it and I start to explain and I'm like, are they interested in this? But I still read it, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's what makes me happy. Right, right. That's that, and that's and that's that's why there's that's why there's a thousand different titles to choose from. Mm -hmm. And there's something out there that makes every that makes everyone happy. Mm -hmm. I've not liked the new X-Men stuff that that hit, that he was doing. You should see the abuse that I get online for it because how oh, can you not like it? I just don't. Some people actually feel um, that you are it's it's a personal attack against them because you don't like what they that you don't what they like. You don't agree with their opinion, you know? Mm -hmm. It's I'm still selling a bunch of the books just because I don't like it doesn't mean yeah. I'm not going to sell it. It's, now, what, what is, if you don't like the book and you don't carry it because I don't like it, I won't carry it, mm -hmm. then there's a problem. Uh, let's see. A facsimile. This is the closest I'm ever going to get to this. Um, Batman Cursed Knight, that's actually not on my pull list. Batman's Grave, not on my pull list either. We got some of the amazing Spider Man, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, Contagion, which is pretty good, Ice Cream Man, which I'm about to drop. Every week seems to be more and more comics. <laughs> I was like, last week was a stack of like $60, $70 worth of comics. This week is probably gonna be the same. Almost every week it's like, oh, I'm going in and there's probably only like four or five comics on my pull list. Oh, you know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cheap week. 15, 20 bucks and then I walk out of here with 40, 50 dollars worth of comics every single week. <laughs> So those, are the, I think those are the days I show up on Thursday and Friday when I'm like, I just, I can't, my wallet can't. 
take the hit today. I like the DC Black labels just because they're uh, they're they're out of the the main universe. So they can kind of do what they want, a little be a little bit creative as opposed to like you know like the the main runs of Batman and the Flash. They can't really you can't really deviate outside the the norm. You can't kill off characters and things like that. So I, uh, I actually quite enjoy them. And they're a little bit darker. A little bit darker, which is nice every now and then. Because I feel like there's another one coming out soon. The Harleen's Harley. out right now. Yep, and then Joker, and Joker Harley. Harley. I feel like there's one more. Well, there's a Joker Insanity coming out. But I don't, I don't, okay. I don't know if it's... Uh, know, with Harley, Harley but yeah, it's still yeah. a joker yeah. yeah. storyline. Yeah, Joker Insanity is coming out. Well, I mean, I guess the Joker movie just came out, so... Yeah, yeah, push up, push a bunch of Joker stuff. <laughs> that would be, Makes sense. That would actually be smart. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but not like uh, not like years ago when the Avengers came out, um, and they were right in the middle of a Jonathan Hickman Avengers line mm-hmm. that you couldn't come in and actually buy Avengers for the movie. If someone goes, oh, I saw the Avengers, but what should I buy? Not this. Oh, you, yeah, because Hickman's stories, you can't get into them. Start in the middle. Right, right, right. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like 40 issues long. You, you couldn't you couldn't get it. You couldn't get into it. You know, yeah. so um, at least they're putting out some Joker stuff for with the movie coming out. They're, you know, yeah. smart. I, I got to see it at some point, but once it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll pick it up. But I'm not going to the movies to see it. No, no. Like I said, I see, I see one, maybe two movies a year because just too expensive to go out these days we're at the day and age where like i have a big screen tv at home with a sound system i was like i'll just pop in a pop in the blu-ray and yeah i'd rather watch it on my own time at my house when i want to watch it yeah i went to avengers this year i think that's the only movie i've seen this year i haven't seen the avengers movie i just watched spider-man this weekend though i just watched uh, oh yeah that's right spider-man yeah it's cool with letting you pee there right yeah i've not just Kick something over. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I did see Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, that was that experience. The, the one I was telling you about weeks ago, where the empty theater and the guy decides to sit right, right next, next to, you, to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, maybe wanted to play the popcorn trick with you. You know the popcorn right. game. <laughs> it's like, oh man, there's no one here. So it's like one of those. Okay, I'm getting up. I'm moving over a couple seats. Like really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't get it. And that's about the closest I'll ever get to owning that uh that Spider Man yeah. comic. <laughs> And now if they could have just gotten rid of the three ninety nine on the Pexel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, put twelve cents on it, you know, but have the three ninety nine on the back yeah. or something. Yeah. Bag important, and then just fool all your friends. Yeah. Look what I got. Hey. Oh my God! Look at the, look at that. That's a great shape. <laughs>